نشکور للہ نشکور للہ نشکور للہ نشکور للہ الحمد للہ الحمد للہ الحمد للہ الحمد للہ نشکور للہ نشکور للہ نشکور للہ نشکور للہ اللہ ککت ابلیس آؤٹ اف پیرڈائس and he repent due to his arrogance and Allah then condemned Iblis to eternity of hell Iblis swore that he would take to the hell fire with him as many of mankind as he can and Allah told him for those who are stupid enough to follow you I will feel the hell fire with a whole lot of you. So this is why each and every one of us as humans, we have a personal gen assigned to us. And that gen's job is to seduce you to commit evil. That gen's job is to whisper for you to do ba bad things. We're supposed to learn to resist that jinn, to not give in to his whispers, to not give in to his suggestions. And we'll be spending our entire life as humans fighting against the suggestions and whispers of our personal jinn. Okay, because again, Iblis has, is on a mission to take you to hell. And this is how we have to look at it. As Muslims, we should all look at this in, individually as what it is. Shaitan is on a mission to take me to hell. So I have to be aware of his games. I have to be aware of his traps so as not to fall victim to him. And this is what we're going to be discussing today. The traps of Iblis so beware now Iblis his evil is of six different types he uses six different types of evil to seduce us to trap us to imprison us and what I'm gonna do right now is go over those six different traps the first is the evil of kufar, which is disbelief, and shirk, which is associating partners. Shaitan will do everything in his power to get you to become a disbeliever. For example, look how many of, the, of, the, of you sisters here, especially the new ones, look how many of you were having a hard time and some of you still are having a hard time accepting the fact that Allah says there will be no kafirs in paradise. The simple fact that you don't want to accept this, that you're trying to disprove this, makes you an unbeliever. Whenever we reject anything that Allah says, guys, this makes us an unbeliever. So we are constantly fighting against shaitan because he's going to to constantly try to get you to reject a law reject what a law says to make you an unbeliever for example those Muslim women on my space who put up all that garbage about hijab how they don't have to wear a hijab hijab is a woman's choice and nobody can judge me these women you know if you believe that you don't have to wear a hijab that a hijab is not a part of Islam that hijab the, the command of hijab was from the olden days then guess what you are an unbeliever you are an unbeliever Whenever you reject anything that Allah says in that Quran, that makes you an unbeliever. So this is the first evil that shaitan will do. He will try to get you to be a disbeliever by causing you to reject Allah or have enmity towards him 
or his prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Another example, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that a woman cannot arch her eyebrows, you cannot wear fake hair, you cannot lengthen your hair artificially. For those Muslim women who reject this and say, oh yes I can, I can lengthen my hair with yarn, I can lengthen my hair, you are an unbeliever. Whenever you reject what the Prophet says and say that what he says is not so, you are an unbeliever. So do you see, guys, we have so many Muslims walking around who are Muslim in name only. And in reality, they have disbelief in them. So Shaitan will try to seduce you you guys to disbelieve in Allah or to associate partners to associate partners with Allah look how shaitan pushes us in our love he will cause us to love our husbands more than we do ourselves to the point that if our husband tells us to take off the hijab we obey him and take it off whenever you do this you have associated partners with Allah you have made your husband equal to Allah this is shirk okay so Iblis he will push us to either uh, uh, become unbelievers or people of us of shirk and if he gains this from you he becomes happy he becomes happy but if you happen to, and, and, and once he becomes happy with you guys he will make you part of his army we have to understand whenever we give in to the evil of shaitan he makes us part of his soldiers his army and he will appoint you as a deputy or an agent against other muslims and this is why you look at up just evil you find Muslim women on MySpace posting up hateful things about believers like us. Like the woman who posted up that horrible thing attacking the women of Sunnah followers. This woman is a Muslim, believe it or not. But she is so far gone, she has become a disbeliever. And a shaitan is so pleased with her that he has made her a deputy or an agent. And, uh, and he's told her, stay here on my space and fight against of Sunnah followers. And that's what she's doing. She is an ally of Shaitan. She is an agent of Shaitan. She's a deputy or a caller of Iblis. And she's just one of many. There's a bunch of callers of Iblis on my space. And they all claim to be Muslims. But they're really, you know, the. The, the callers of shaitan okay so that's the first trap that shaitan lays but if a person doesn't fall for that he'll try to get you to uh, become a disbeliever by rejecting a law or rejecting the prophet or committing shirt but if he finds that he cannot get you to do that then he lays another trap for you the second trap that Iblis uses against the believers is bidda or innovation. So he couldn't get you to commit shirk. He couldn't get you to disbelieve. So now he's going to get you to become an innovator. And innovation is just as dangerous because innovation destroys the sunnah. Innovation implies that Allah did not complete our religion. Look how many Muslims you know are innovators. They don't follow the Sunnah. They don't pray the way the Prophet taught us. They don't perform the acts of worship the way they were legislated. They innovate by introducing culture. They become blinded by culture. This is another trap of Iblis. Because bidda or innovation is a stepping stone to disbelief and shirk. So if he can't get you by making you a disbeliever, he will dupe you with innovation. And by the way, guys, Iblis loves to see a person